Hi, this is Tim Donahue, and today I'm going to show you how you can use the Replication Task Suite to back up your DSpace installation uh, to DuraCloud and also restore from DuraCloud. For those who aren't familiar with it, the, Dur the DSpace Replication Task Suite is actually an add-on for DSpace 1.8, and it's a set of curation tasks that are geared towards replicating your DSpace content to another location. One of those locations being DuraCloud, which is what I'm going to show today. Um, it is not provided out of the box with DSpace, just so you know. So you have to install it on a 1.8 system. So first and foremost, you need a DuraCloud account to use this with DuraCloud. So I have a DuraCloud account over in this other tab, and I've already logged in here. My DuraCloud account information is actually stored in a configuration file that the Replication Task Suite has access to. So it's able to log in um, to your account and actually upload content or download content uh, from that account. So first and foremost, I need to add a space that my DSpace is going to back up all its content into. Um, this space can be whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it My DSpace Backup and you just need to make sure that this space ID is actually configured again in the replication task suite config file so that it knows where it's actually backing up the content to. So I'm going to create that space within DuraCloud so that I have it here and I can start adding content to it. Okay, my space has been created and it's empty right now. Now I'm going to go over to my DSpace installation, my local DSpace that has some content within it. Um, there's a couple communities, collections, some sub-communities in here. We can also see if I go to the titles, we got about 20 items in here. So it's not a huge DSpace, but it'll give you a good example of how this content gets up into the cloud. So I'm logged in as an administrator because you need to be an administrative user to actually access the curation tools and the Replication Task Suite is just a curation tool. So I can click on the Curation Tasks over here in my administrative menu and that brings me to the site-wide tasks. For this example I'm actually going to do a full backup of my site um, to a set of AIPs which is what the Replication Task Suite generates, these archival information packages. So to do the site backup I need to actually enter in my site handle slash zero as it says here in this hint because uh, that represents your site uh, URL, your site handle. Um, so now we're going to select the replication suite of tasks and this is the full suite of tasks that are available in the replication task suite. I'm not going to go through all these right now in this um, actual screencast but they're all documented up on the website that I showed you earlier. So for this example we're going to transmit these AIPs up into storage so this is going to generate brand new AIPs and actually um, upload them into your DuraCloud account that was configured. So I'm going to go ahead and perform this task. It's going to take a few minutes here behind the scenes because it's actually taking every single object, every community, collection, and item from your DSpace installation, packaging them up into an AIP which is essentially a METS file describing the metadata along with any of the content files and then that's all zipped up. So the METS plus the content files is zipped up into an AIP, an archival information package. The other option that you have here while I'm on this page is you can actually queue things up to run at a later time and all this does is it allows you to, to build a queue um, on your DSpace file system underneath DSpace and you can actually schedule uh, tasks behind the scenes to run nightly to actually run tasks off your queue if you wanted to. So it's not an immediate action, it'll happen later on. So while this is actually still working here, we can go back over to our DuraCloud uh, space that we created and do a refresh and you can start to see things appear within this space as DSpace is working to package up each of the communities, collections, and items within the DSpace instance. And so you get a zip file that represents a collections metadata, a communities metadata, the item zip files represent both the item metadata and the item content files, and then there's even a zip file that represents your site which contains all of the group information about your site and all of the e-people that exist within your site. So I'm going to pause here for a moment uh, to let this finish and then we'll start back up. Okay, we're back now. 
my D space is now fully backed up to DuraCloud. So if I refresh this page, I now see I have 30 objects within my DuraCloud space, again representing communities, collections, and items. If I go back to my DSpace instance where I kicked off the task, I see a result of success. And if you actually wanted to see more information about all the stuff that went on behind the scenes, it's all uh, inside your DSpace log file. So you can actually see every single object that went up into the cloud. Here it's just reporting the last one that went up uh, just as a very simplistic um, way of reporting that successful message. So we backed up our DSpace now fully to the cloud. So now let's imagine that a disaster happens at, at your university and your DSpace somehow gets completely wiped out. Um, you don't have your local backups or your local copies of everything that you need. And so all you have is that content that you just put up into the cloud. So I have an example of this. I have a second DSpace install, which I've called DSpace Empty. So it doesn't have any content within it right now. Um, there's no communities, no collections, no items. So here I can log into this completely empty DSpace, again as an administrator. And what I've done behind the scenes here is I've set up this DSpace empty to actually go to that same DuraCloud space. So I've configured it with that same DuraCloud account and that same space so that I can actually pull down its content from DuraCloud. So this is a completely fresh install of DSpace we can go down here again and go back to our curation tasks in this fresh install. And I'm again going to enter in my uh, site-wide handle because we're going to do a full re restoration of all of our content. So we'll grab our replication suite of tasks. This time, rather than doing a transmit, we're actually going to go back and do a replace existing objects with AIPs. So the reason why I'm running a replace here is because we, even though we do have a fresh install of DSpace, I did actually have to create an administrative user. Um, and it auto-created a couple groups there. So we can't just do a restore here because it needs to actually overwrite our groups to create the administrative users back to the state that it was in when you last did your backup, if that makes sense. So here we're going to actually perform a full replacement of everything in this current fresh install. Um, and it's going to grab down each of those AIPs from DuraCloud now, unzip those AIPs, and restore them into our DSpace installation. So again, this is probably going to take a couple minutes, so I'm going to pause here until it completes. Okay, we're back now. As you can see from the message at the top of the screen here, we've got had a successful replacement um, of all of our objects here inside this empty DSpace uh, from the AIPs that were up in our DuraCloud instance. So if I go back to my home screen now, we'll actually see that this now has the same communities and collections that existed within our DSpace full instance, and it also has the same 20 items that existed within our DSpace full instance. Not only that, but it's actually auto-created some groups that corresponded to uh, collections that had rights in them and automatically added any people that didn't exist into this system. So it started out with just me, now it's added a couple other users here um, that existed within our AIPs that were stored up in DuraCloud. So this is an example of a full restoration from our content up in DuraCloud. So what, what also could happen is if we go to a particular collection here, let's go to the test files collection that I have. Suppose um, one of your administrators here was messing around within um, your collection and they accidentally corrupted some of the information, but you may not know what information got corrupted. So there's a bunch of information that's corrupted within our collection. I'm going to remove this picture of me from the logo. Um, we'll save those updates. So we've now got a corrupted collection. Not only that, but say they accidentally deleted a file. So let's go to this test PDF document here. And I'm going to delete this object completely. We're going to permanently delete this test PDF. And notice here at the top what the handle of it is. So this has slash 8 as the end of the handle. Because um, the handle we can restore automatically as well. The handles do get restored. So we're going to delete that object as well. So our collection's corrupted. Uh, if we go back to the collection, if we tried to type in that handle with the slash 8 on the end, 
we're going to get a resource not found error because we've accidentally deleted that file. But luckily, since you have your content backed up into DuraCloud, we can go through and do another restoration of just this collection. So if I go in and edit this particular corrupted collection, there's a Curate tab here for this collection. Again, we have access to our replication task suite. Um, from here, we can actually do a comparison. We can audit our current collection against the AIPs up in DuraCloud. What this does is generates a brand new AIP locally, uh, gets a checksum of that AIP, and compares it to the checksum of the AIP that exists up in DuraCloud to see if anything's changed between your backup up in DuraCloud and your local uh, content that's in your DSpace instance. So we can do a quick um, perf perform of an audit here. This will come back pretty quickly. So the task completed successfully, but it reported a status of failure that the checksums differ. So now you know that you know something is different here, and as we can tell, you know something's been corrupted within our our um, collection itself. So what we'll actually do here now is we're going to replace our existing collection within DSpace uh, with what was in the the backup. And not only will this replace the collection, it's also going to go through and check all of the items underneath that collection and replace items back to the state that they were in in your backup. So when we perform this, we should not only get a um, non-corrupted collection, we should also get that item back that we accidentally deleted. So it went through and actually did a quick replacement here that was relatively quick. If we return back to our collection page, we now see the logos back, the picture of me, the collection's no longer corrupted, and look, here we got our test PDF document back at that slash 8 URL. So this is just an example of some of what you can do to better integrate DSpace with DuraCloud using the replication task suite of tools. So I hope you found this a very informative screencast. Thanks.